brothers and sisters, good to see you again here. I'm Lily with Zimmerman, the Jesus Christ Love and Care Ministry. I hope everybody's are doing well. And uh, good to see you again here, mga kapatid. Today, I would like to share you a short message. Makikita natin sa Romans chapter 8, verse 26. At ang sabi dito, uh, For we know not we ought what for we know not what we should pray for us we ought but the spirit itself make it intercession for us with groaning which cannot be uttered glory to god this is the word of god so mga kapatid ang title uh, nilagyan ko na lang ng title na ang title niya ay it says na the spirit help us in our weaknesses so this is our word today in Romans chapter 8 verse 26 now for we know not what we should pray so that means that we even we don't know how to pray so the spirit help us to intercede us so uh likewise the spirit also help it our infirmities so it says that that the even we don't know how to pray but the spirit of God help us to pray so, for we know not what we should pray, kahit hindi natin alam uh, what we need to our, in our prayer, but the Holy Spirit help us how to pray. So, uh, so, even we don't know how to pray, but the Spirit of God help us to pray. And also, He intercede us. Uh, he intercede us for us with groaning and cannot be uttered. So, mga kapatid, yun yung ano yung, so, likewise, the Spirit also help it our infirmities. So, ano bang infirmities? Yung infirmities, yung kahinaan natin, yung kung saan tayo mahina, pinalalakas tayo ng Espiritu Santo. So, for we know not what we should pray. For us, we ought. So, but the Spirit else itself make it intercession for us with groaning and which cannot utter. So, mga kapatid, ito ay isang inspira inspiration na kung paano noong unang panahon, noong panahon the early churches. So, Paul talk about how the Spirit worked when that time, so in, in his ministry. So, here, Paul tells us that his Spirit help us in our infirmities. So, yung mga kahinaan natin, he, he help us. So, that is our weaknesses. So, He gives us the strength to bear our weaknesses. So, bibigyan tayo niya ng lakas para magkaroon kung saan tayo mahina. Lalo pa niyang pinalalak pinalalakas tayo niya kung tayo ay mahina. So, that's the work of the Spirit of God. So, uh, and gives us truth that help us to endure, endure them. So, give us a truth. So, ito ay nagbibigay sa atin ng totoo, ng katotohanan kung ano, tinutulungan tayo, ginagabayan tayo para hindi tayo mailigaw, para hindi tayo magkakamali. So, He give us a conviction sa tuwing tayo nagkakamali. So, naligaw ng landas, He convict us, He, he reminding us. Amen? Glory to God. So, one specific way that the Spirit helped help us in help us by making intercession so when we don't know how to pray so mga kapatid if we don't know how to pray just ask the holy spirit just let the holy spirit to al allow him to control you to help you how to pray even we don't know how to pray but he intercede us between our god so uh the holy spirit he, uh strengthening us he help us. He guide us, mga kapatid. Amen. Glory to God. So, that's His work. So, that's why Jesus Christ, He give us the Spirit of God. So, the Holy Spirit lives in us. So, yun, mga kapatid. So, this is a crucial part of the help that the Spirit give us. Sometimes we don't know how to pray. That may be because we don't know what is best for us. Amen. So, uh, or because we don't know what God might be willing, what God, what God might be willing to do for us. So, kahit ano, ano hindi natin alam, 
Hindi natin alam kung ano ang plano ng Panginoon. Hindi natin alam kung ano ba talaga ang ang inilaan niya para sa atin. But the Holy Spirit help us. So, yun mga kapatid. So, we aren't sure who God is. And we don't understand His character. That's true mga kapatid. We don't know Him. He's really, really how He is. And also, His character. And what His plan for His people. His children. Amen. Glory to God. But we don't know how to help ourselves. Kahit hindi natin alam kung paano tulungan ang ating sarili. But the Holy Spirit, He will guide us. He will teach us. Hallelujah. So, what when that happens, we need an intercession. So, yun, siya ang nag-intercede sa atin between us and to God. Amen? Glory to God. So, um, He knows how to, vo how to voice our needs. Hallelujah. So, He reads the re races of our hearts and transmit that the Father, that, that the Father, in a way, we cannot. So, this groaning, groaning mga kapatid, groaning often in a heavenly language that only God can understand. So, ito yung sinasabi mga kapatid, yung, yung groaning, a heavenly language. Ito yung uh, uh, tongues, the, the speaking tongues that uh, we, uh, people, when they hear, they don't understand it because that person, uh, the Spirit of God, groaning inside in in that person and then intercede to between God so when you speak the speaking tongue so I remember that um but uh before when I speak I speak the tongues I don't understand just only continue flow the the uh, the speaking of tongues because if you search that in the Bible, the speaking tongues is you talk direct to God. Amen. So, uh, but late, um, the more you spend time in the Lord, the more the Holy Spirit help us to understand too what you're talking about, what you when you pray, because God, the Spirit of God give you wisdom how to understand so so the more the more you more have intimacy with the, with the lord his presence so you know you understand what is the meaning what is the you're praying for but most most people they if you search in the bible that the speaking of them is a different language in heaven so that means that you talk to god directly through the spirit of god so groaning in your spirit amen glory to god so yun mga kapatid na gayon pa man gayon din naman ang espiritu ay tumutulong sa ating kahinaan sapagkat hindi tayo marunong manalangin amen nang nararapat ngunit ang espiritu rin Ang Espiritu rin ay namamagitan sa atin ng mga hibig na hindi maisaysay sa pananalita. So ito yung sinasabi, hibig na pananalita. That means the speaking of them. So you talk directly to God. Amen. Glory to God. So kaya pinamagatan kong the help, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. Dahil siya ang gumagabay. Siya ang tumutulong, mga kapatid. So, yun, mga kapatid. So, so um, it becomes a kind code that allows our heart to bypass. So, to bypass upang by, um, ano, yung, yung our minds and go straight to the heart of God. Hallelujah. So, the Holy Spirit becomes our interpreter translating our deepest needs to the language of God. So, ito yun mga kapatid ha. So, ito yun. He is the interpreter too. And, or translator, interpreter. Uh, when you, uh, if, I remember when I was in Japan, I was working in the Philippine Embassy as a translator. And then, a uh, uh, lot of Filipino coming from uh, uh, Davao City. And they came to Japan, so they don't know how to speak. Even they are, they have the blood of uh, Japanese, 
they are half Japanese and uh, they came to feel, uh, Okinawa to look their their parents because when during the Second World World War, uh, Second World War, uh, when their parents was in Davao City, so they married and then they got child and then no magkaanak sila doon sa Davao so iniwanan ni nila bumalik sila sa Japan so that time so when they grown up hinahanap nila ang totoo nilang father so yun ang ano ko nandoon kami sa hotel ako ang nagta-translate so ganun yung yung naisip ko lang yung halimbawa yung ikaw kung ikaw ay maging interpreter so ano minsan hindi rin madali di ba kasi minsan iba-ibang aksent ang mga tao, iba-ibang language. But the Lord, um, just like this one, the Holy Spirit interpret, interpret para magkakaintindihan, para maiparating doon sa gusto mong iparating. Kasi hindi ka nga marunong, di ba? So the Holy Spirit interpret us, interpret or translating our language that we don't know. So, mga syllables yan, mga kapatid. So, ang Holy Spirit, align it. So, ina-arrange niya para maintindihan, maiparating sa ating amang nasa langit. Ganun yun, mga kapatid. Kum kumikilos ang balang Espiritu Santo. So, kaya nga, even we don't know how to... So, the Holy Spirit uh, help us how to pray and also interpret the the speaking tongue when we pray and uh, the, he intercedes us and also uh, he translating our deepest needs to the language of God. So, yung speaking of tongue uh, is a heavenly language. So, uh, hindi na hindi na intindihan ng iba, pero ang Diyos lang at ang Holy Spirit ang nagkakaintindihan. But if you are more deeply na yung relationship mo sa Panginoon, yung intimacy, yung sinabi ko kanina. So, ikaw ay magkaroon, bigyan ka niya ng wisdom. He, he directly into your heart speaking and you understand. And, and you understand what you pray in tongues. Amen. So, na-experience ko yan mga kapatid. And also, the Holy Spirit give you a uh, a gift of a discerning you can discern to other people pero hindi yan topic natin today ang topic natin that how the works of the holy spirit how he helped our in our weaknesses how he helped in the time we are sad pinapasaya tayo niya when the time we don't know naligaw tayo nagkasala tayo ay he convict give he give us a conviction in our heart to reminding us, then we start to repent and ask God the forgiveness. Amen. So, yun mga kapatid, yung mga encouragement ko sa inyo, continue lang na meditate the word of God daily and also uh, uh, spending time with the Lord. In twin, uh, you pray often and meditate the word of God and then, um, and then pray often and then uh, continue cultivate our relationship with the Lord. And mga kapatid, uh, naalala niyo yung lagi kong sinasabi na our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. He lives in us. So the more uh, the more we we pray and we spending time and we depending the power of the Holy Spirit, we entrust we we anointing us. The more we spend time when we pray and then we surrender to the Holy Spirit and everything. And He leads us. He guides us. And also, when the time of troubles, He will teach us. So, mga kapatid, the Holy Spirit, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So, uh, nandyan lang siya. So, uh, I, ano, just need to activate. Like when you do the, like for example, when you use the halimbawa yung ano bang example maganda yung ano yung halimbawa yung connection ng electricity so kung ano kung gusto mo ng ano magcharge ka ng ano ng cellphone mo so you need the energy you need you need the battery so para mag ano para mag start ang cellphone mo 
so you have to uh, charge it so kind of a charger so um, if you, the more you pray the more you spending time and you surrender to the Holy Spirit and then the power of the Holy Spirit the anointing pour out in us because we spending uh, with the Lord we talk to him often so that's why pray constantly pray often pray constantly and then and then give thanks and then uh, for this is the will of God for us true in Christ Jesus our Lord amen so our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit the more we depending on him the more we trust in him the more uh, we allow the Holy Spirit to lead us every day of our life so he will guide us he will comfort us Sa tuwing tayo nalulungkot, pinasaya tayo niya. Sa tuwing may mga problema tayo na dinadaing, so tinutulungan tayo. So, when we pray, directed to our Father. So, our, so we, we pray in tongues. So, a heavenly talk, heavenly language. So, yun mga kapatid. So, wag lang tayo mag, uh, mag-alala. The more, uh, even in time of troubles, just keep in trusting in him. Continue abide in Christ. So through the power of the Holy Spirit, so kaya nga sabi, we can bear much fruit if we continue abide. If we abide in him and he in us, so we can bear much fruit. If we, for apart from him, we can do nothing. Yan ang sinabi ni sa John 15 verse 5. So ang sabi din, if we, if we, uh, if we keep his command, if we love God, we keep His command. And He will give us uh, a, a counselor to be with us forever. So, ano ba ang counselor na sinasabi? Which is the Holy Spirit. Nung before bumalik si Jesus Christ, before He was ascended to heaven, He gave His, uh, uh, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth, to, to comfort His people. So, ano, sabi niya sa mga apostol niya, lagi niya, Lagi ninyo akong kasakasama. Huwag lang kayo mag-alala. So, which is the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth. Sinabi din ni Jesus Christ sa kanyang mga apostol, kung hindi siya aalis, hindi darating ang Spirit of Truth, which is ang Espiritu Santo. So, yun ang gift na binigay sa atin. So, His, uh, the Holy Spirit living inside in us, like a water. So, kung i-ano mo, like a water, and the Holy Spirit also, ano ma-describe mo, like a fire. So, kung halimbawa, kung ikaw ay medyo, medyo ano siguro mahirap sa mga baguhan kung sasabihin ko ito, na ang the power of the Holy Spirit, like an electricity, na kapag nag-charge ka, so, nag-ano ka, yung, yung kind of electricity. So, you can feel the electricity connected. So, the Holy Spirit give power and we have the access from heaven once that we receive Christ as a Savior. So, yun, ano, we have to focus, we have to, we have to ask God, we have to decide, ask God to understand everything, what His purpose, why He called us, why He chosen us, amen, glory to God. So, yun lang mga kapatid, before we end this video, uh, uh, this message, let us pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you have any uh, question or comments, uh, write in the comments or you, if you have any prayer request, just leave a comments, mga kapatid. Amen. Glory to God. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Oh, rababasiti karakanda rababasiya. Oh, rababakaya rakanda rabakanti kundo rabasiya. Father, I thank you for praying for me when I can pray for myself. Sometimes I just don't don't have the words to express my needs and desires to you. Your Holy Spirit become my intercessor and take my needs. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh Father God, hallelujah. We lift up to you, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. 
Ura basiti karakanda la babasia. Ura basito kurakanda la basia. Even if we, even we don't know how to or to pray, O oh God, thank you so much for your Holy Spirit. Roha kudis arakanti kanda la babasia. We pray for your people, Lord. We pray for all our brothers and sisters in social media. We pray for all our brothers and sisters and the blogger and all in the YouTube. Ura bakanti kandara basia. Oh, and for the whole world, for the people watching this video. Ura bakanti kandara basia. I pray for all the subscribers of this channel. Continue support for this ministry. I pray for the all the uh, sponsors of the Jesus Christ Love and Care Ministry, the ministry in Philippines, O oh Lord, to prosper, O oh God. Ura babasiti karakanda rabasia. I pray for all the people around the world have very ill and Lord, we ask you touch their body by your stripe, O Lord, because you was wounded for our, for our transgression. You was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon on you, Lord. And by your stripe, O Lord Jesus, you those people that suffer the sickness, O God, they will recover by your stripe, O God. Ura babasiti karakanda rabasia. I pray for all the nation, O God. I pray for the whole nation that na dumadaan na mga pagsubok, mga trials, Panginoon. I pray for all the family na dumadaan ng mga hirap at trials and tribulation. I pray for those people, Lord, that lose their, losing their loved ones, O oh God, because of this pandemic, O oh God. I ask you, Lord, to deliver and to set them free, O oh Lord. Have mercy on them. Protect them from all kind of evil, O oh God. Open their eyes of their heart to see the spiritual truth, to keep their mind, O oh God, into you. To set their mind on things above, but not on these earthly things, O God. Dahil panandalian lang ang mga bagay na nakikita namin dito sa mundo. Father God, we ask you, Abba Yahu, Yahushua Masia Roha Kudis, we love up to you because we know that you never leave us. You are God, that you say that do not fear for I am with you. Do not be afraid for I am your God. I will help you, I will strengthen you, I will hold on you with my righteous right hand. Father God, Abba Yahu, Yahushua Masia Adonai, we love up to you all my brothers and sisters because we know, Lord, that you are the great and miracle worker, God. And lahat walang imposible sa inyo, Panginoon. The more we trust in you, O Lord, the more, hallelujah, we embracing in you. Hallelujah. You show the mercy of your people, your compassion, your love, O God. Hallelujah. O Rababasa, Takarakanda, Rababasiya. O Holy Spirit, O God, pour out the heart of your people, O God, to receive the blessing, to receive the salvation, O God. O Rabasiti, Karakan, forgive us, O God, for our iniquity this forgive us lord hallelujah for our stubbornness forgive us oh lord for our uh, uh, destruction and compromising in our life O Rabasiti Karakanda Rabasia, ibalik mo po kami, Panginoon. Hallelujah, palala mo po sa amin lagi. Salamat sa bilang Espiritu Santo, laging nagagabay sa iyong mga anak. Thank you, Lord, we give honor and we give glory to you. Thank you for your word today. Hallelujah for the encouraging and reminding that even we don't know how to pray, that there's a Holy Spirit to intercede for us. O Rababasia na namamagitan sa between in you and us, O oh God. Thank you so much and we love you. We honor you and we glorify to your name. Bless all the viewers and the, support, and the supporters of this love and care ministry. Thank you so much, O oh God. Oh, we love you. We give honor to you. Ura babasata karakanda rabasia. Ura kantikundo rabakahiri kitu karakanda rabasia. Ura basia, glory to God. Oh, we praise you in the name of Yahushua, Masia Adonai. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. And everybody say amen and amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. See you soon. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you and I love you all. God bless. Amen.